Welcome back, folks. Uh, nice, beautiful weather today. A little bit cooler. Uh, we just had a rainstorm yesterday. Cooled things off quite a bit. A little humid. I spent most of my day editing videos. In fact, I just posted uh, just posted part five, which is about a half hour long. Should be a little bit of content for you all for a little while. Um, today, <clears throat> we're working on more of the, the frame structure here. This is, it's pretty solid. Hello, Moth. Goodbye, Moth. Um, it's pretty solid. In fact, um, I tried earlier, and my, um, my overgrown self here can actually do a pull up off of here. I'm about 200, 270 pounds. Uh, yep. That's pretty strong. The only problem is it moves a lot this way, so back and forth. Um, the way I'm going to address that is I'm going to take some of these uh, these pieces that I've got, uh, rejects and the, uh, the pieces that were either weren't long enough or what have you, and I'm going to tie these and I'm going to do a diagonal right here. And another one over there. So I'm going to four diagonals, two on this side, uh, two on that side. And what's going to happen with that is when this tries to move, it's going to push that diagonal down, and, and it's going to, and that is going to lock this in place. Um, you'll you'll see what I mean once I get it all tied up. I had thought about going and getting probably too cute and trying to to lash a piece here parallel to this, and then get it to to bend. So that it would tie into there and latch it parallel again. The more I thought about that, the more I thought, mm, that's a bit getting kind of carried away, and it would just be better and easier to uh, to lash these on a diagonal. So we're gonna try that. I've got plenty of pieces here, a uh, few over there that you can't see; they're off camera. But you'll uh, you'll get the idea what I'm doing as I go on. All right. Almost out of my tarred twine here, but that's all right because I got another uh, roll that I ordered. Again, not something I can get locally. I would love to get it locally. Uh, you go down south, you'll find this in any number of. Uh, I mean, gas stations will have it for crying out loud. Not so up here in the north. Don't want to do this too tight on this one because this is going to rotate. Y'all see what I mean here in a minute. Try to modify just a what they call it, a square lashing. Is that what's best? I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out myself. <laughs> All 
All right, here we go. We've got our uh, diagonal piece put in. Goes for all the way down there to the bottom. And you will notice, I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna shake this and it's, it shakes a little. It moves, but not anything like it used to. And that's with only one of those diagonal supports in there. I put the other three in there. It's gonna be looking a whole lot better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then, uh, well, I'll get back to you and show you what the final product is. Got them all cut. Now to come back and give them the hatchet treatment, clean them up a little bit. Should be good to go. Welcome back. Another day, another chance to get some stuff done. Got my hatchet this time, all nice and sharpened up. Did that last night. I'm gonna get at it, finish up these. We're getting close. So I got these uh, diagonal ones. I got the cross beams. Got a little bit left to do. We're closer than we've been this whole project. How about that? There you go, Dad. There's something to tell you kids when they ask, are you there yet? We're closer than we've been all day. That's what I tell mine. And he absolutely loves it. He tells me so, too. Dad! Might have been better with the saw. I don't know. If not like that. Y'all can't see. Let me put that on the camera for you. I got this big, there used to be a fork right here in the tree, kind of like that. And I'm trying to take this off. Uh, you can see it better on this side. It's actually starting to split right there. I don't want to split the rest of this. I'm going to try a little bit different technique here. Try to. Try and not split that. Making me second guess using this one. I've got a, uh, what do they call that, a burl right there. And I could probably still use, I think I'd be careful to turn this uh, with the burl inside. I think I'll be all right. Nothing else is really saying don't use that side of the, uh, of the stick. So I'm just going to do that.
I'm going to pause here for a moment. We're going to talk about this uh, this tarred twine stuff, mostly because I'm about to run out of this roll. And not being able to just go to the uh, local gas station and get some, I had to order some. And come to find out, it's uh, it's very interesting. This company here, uh, Catahoula Manufacturing, is actually still making this stuff here in the United States. Um, I believe, uh, yeah, Jonesville, Louisiana. And they have a little chart here on the side of it of all the different sizes they make. Uh, which was kind of a surprise to me because I was used to going to the, uh, the gas station, hardware store, Walmart, what have you, and just buying this. And usually this, this size here uh, was, was, might be the only thing they had. Or they might have one size up. Or not one size up, but they might have a, a significantly larger size like this... Uh, size 36 here. So for comparison, I've got, I bought a size 12, which is, I believe, a little bit smaller. Let me open this up. I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah, this, this size 12 is probably half the diameter of this, uh, this larger stuff that I brought up from down south. And then size 36 is easily, um, I would say, three times the diameter of this stuff. And uh, larger still, of course, than the size 12. Now, <clears throat> they'll sell these. Uh, they, they sell them as a, a spool, but they, they measure it by weight. So when you go online, uh, maybe I'll, this would be a good thing to do a, a dedicated product review of and... and uh, Throw that up as an Amazon affiliate link. Maybe I'll do that here in a bit. But they sell these by uh, quarter pound, half pound, and one pound. So you can tell this is actually a little bit shorter. Um, yeah, this is two thirds the length of this longer tube. And the tubes seem to be the same diameter on the inside. I'm not sure if this was a uh, Catahoula manufacturing nylon or uh, tarred twine or not but it was kind of neat for me to see that uh, there was a whole array of, of different ones so moving forward you're going to notice that this uh, this stuff's going to get a lot thicker because I'm using the the size 36 which I think is going to be a little more appropriate for the work I'm trying to do with it all right back to work So in order to hold this in place while I'm working, I've simply gone and taken a uh, piece of parachute cord and tied that up there. Once I'm done with the bottom, I'll untie that and then we'll, uh, we'll connect it over there. <laughs> All right. But if you didn't catch it, all I did was I rotated this so that it lined up a little bit better with the curvature here. And it just 
he created all this slack in the twine. So now I gotta go backwards and pull all of that out. And I noticed that this uh, this Catahoula stuff is not quite as sticky as whatever I had before. And I'm not sure if I think that's good, bad, or uh, maybe just something you gotta take into account. <clears throat> So, little notes on what I did differently. My first lashings, which I have an example of right here, uh, obviously you'll notice the, the thinner twine, but also I, I tried to lash it basically the same as I did up here. And, and this lashing is completely appropriate for, for this, but it's not really working so hot on this. And you can see I can kind of wiggle that around. Um, and you saw how much it moved when I tried to move it earlier. Over here, we have the the new lashings, which, again, really stands out that we have a thicker cordage. But also, I lashed it in a way that you would do like a tripod lashing, or even that you would, would lash two of these parallel. In fact, I have an example of that above. There we go. You can see right there, I've got, of course, the lashing attaching the the, uh, the horizontal pull to the verticals. But also, I've got two horizontals there, and they're joined at two spots. I may go ahead and join them in the center, but so far they seem to be doing pretty good right there. But that's that same kind of lash. I just wrapped my, uh, my nylon twine around both of those and tied it off. Nothing more. So back down to these, all I've done is held those two together, uh, you know, parallel to each other, and wrap them, and then taking that uh, that diagonal support and cant that off to the side, so, or lean it off to the side if you prefer, and it's working really well. It actually serves to tighten that knot up quite a bit. Probably the best example I could give you of how this lashing is working way better than that one Watch this. I'm going to shake this right here. This moves very little, but you can see quite a bit of motion over there on that lashing. I'm, I'm definitely going to redo that one. Do it like this. I don't know how much y'all may be able to tell the difference here, but from where I'm standing, I can tell quite a bit of difference. When I try to move this, uh, push this back and forth, I've got I've got no movement this way. I've actually got more movement with them flexing out than I do 
with this rocking back and forth compared to before where it was swaying pretty good. So I am I am more than satisfied with how this came out, putting these diagonals in. I can't hardly get that to move. Hey everybody, real quick, I uh, realized once I was editing this video that I didn't have an outro. So this one's done. I'm going to do another one. Hopefully this one will be dropping around Friday. And then early next week, drop another one. And that one's going to be the um, putting the overhead storage in and putting up the, finally, putting up the tarp. So pretty excited about that. Hope you guys are enjoying these. If you are, please drop a comment, drop a like, um, hit subscribe, what have you. Anyway, until next time, get out there, do cool stuff, and we'll take care of each other. All right? I'll talk to you later.